Hello everyone, I'm Dave Stotts, the Statesman's Business Editor. Most of us love living in the Treasure Valley, but there's a dark side to life here that you don't hear about from our chambers of commerce or see in pretty tourism videos. A foggy, smoggy dark side. If you've lived here even one winter, you've experienced it. The inversion. To learn about inversions, I turn to an expert, Jay Breidenbach, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service office on the campus of the National Interagency Fire Center near the Boise Airport. Well, a temperature inversion is simply a layer of air where the temperature increases with height. So in other words, you would have cold air at the lower portion of that layer and warm air near the top. I've seen inversions here in the Treasure Valley where it's 40 degrees and bright sunshine up at Bogus Basin and here in Boise or Nampa Caldwell it's 20 degrees and foggy and cloudy. You can't even see the sun. If temperature were the only thing affected we probably wouldn't care but it's not. Well here in in um, Boise it's common to have a bit of a temperature inversion almost every morning but usually we don't notice it because it mixes out and usually there's no fog or smoke trapped in the inversion because it doesn't last very long. But I would say two to maybe three times a year it gets really noticeable and those are situations where the inversion fills up with fog and pollution that lasts a while. Not all inversions are alike. There are several kinds, two of which are common during our winters. Probably the most common type of inversion that we see here in the Treasure Valley is what's called a nocturnal radiational temperature inversion. And that develops at night after the sun goes down and uh, the surface simply radiates its heat towards space. Usually that occurs on a calm, clear night and the surface just cools, cools off much faster than the layer of air above the surface. You can also um, experience a temperature inversion when a warm front is nearby. And so a warm front happens when warm air typically to the south of us overruns cold air trapped in the valley. And so that gives you the same situation where you have warm air over top of cold air. In both cases cold air gets trapped low in the valley and we get day after day of gray skies, fog, and air pollution alerts from the state. Inversions happen only when the atmosphere above the valley is stable. You need instability to break up the lousy valley air by mixing it with the better air above and beyond. And so typically the way one of those inversions would evolve, we would have, say, an arctic front bring some cold air and maybe a little bit of snow to the valley. And then when that happens, the valley's full of cold air and it can start as a beautiful snow-covered day, clear skies, but then at night as the temperature cools down and it reaches the dew point, then we can have fog form. And in the wintertime when the sun angle is so low that fog often will not burn off during the day so we don't warm up. And then the next night the inversion gets even worse as the clear sky above allows that heat to escape from from the surface so the inversion gets worse and there's more fog and and so that inversion can last a long time and it it won't leave the area till we can till we have a strong front move through the area to really kind of flush it out the fog and smog wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have all those beautiful mountains to the north and south of us holding the air in place one of the things that makes us so susceptible is the cold air when we start off with a nocturnal radiation inversion it just drains into the valley and it, so it kind of fills up like a pool and once it gets into the valley that cold air it's dense and so it's hard to dislodge fr from the valley if there weren't any mountains around then the, that cold air could easily be pushed out of the way by um, a front or a weather system but all weather events come to an end, even inversions. As the late winter sun moves more directly overhead, its heat breaks up the cool air enveloping us. Typically, here in the Treasure Valley, we define the winter inversion season as lasting from Thanksgiving through about Valentine's Day. So 
once we get to Valentine's Day, we're probably not going to get a, a long-lasting inversion where we've trapped a lot of fog and pollution uh, near the surface. So bring on Valentine's Day. Dave Stotts, Idaho Statesman.